let's talk about kissing on the first date. Yes, should you be doing it? But more importantly, what are the women in your life that you're trying to date thinking about when you're making this move? I had an interesting comment from a woman under one of my videos. And I think it was a video where I was talking about like kissing on a first date, second date, or third date. And so she said, I went on a date with an awesome dude who tried to kiss me on our first link up. I rejected it even though I wanted, even though I wanted to, but I rejected it because I don't know that man, LOL, get to know people before you just swap spit and bodily fluids. So this is a really important comment and I'm glad this lady left this because this speaks to this idea that regardless of how hot a woman is for you and how much in her head she's actually wanting to hook up with you, she's wanting to have a full on makeout session with you, the reality is even if she's feeling that on one end of her brain, the other end of her brain could be thinking, but realistically, he's a stranger. I don't know him all that well. We haven't spent enough time together for me to really feel completely comfortable. Like I'm already looking at him as like, he could potentially be a good lay. He could potentially be a good, even great makeout session, but the part of me still needs to like really trust him a bit more. And so I need to get to know him a bit more before I decide to kiss him or get him to kiss me. Now, as a person that gives dating advice, I told you guys plenty of times, I've told you stories about women who I kissed at first meetings, I've kissed on first dates. And so, so you would think I'd be like, yeah, always go for the kiss on the first date. Here's the thing though, for one, a, a kiss or a hookup on a first date is really one of those things that you as a guy have to really fully feel out. Because if, if you're not careful, what's gonna happen is this, you're going on a date and you're already thinking about how hot she is, you saw her profile online, you met her previously at a party or through friends or whatever, she agreed to a date, and you're thinking about all the curves you wanna drive down and how much you wanna kiss her and touch her and all sort of stuff, right? So you're going on a date, already thinking, you know what, I'm gonna bypass all my logic, I already know she's hot, I already know she's probably a good dating candidate, and so I'm gonna go on for that first kiss and that first hookup, right? And so, a lot of times that ends up tripping you up because you're thinking so much about this kiss that needs to happen by the end of the date or this hookup offer you gotta try to put out there that you end up like having that be such the focal point, you forget to focus on actually showing her a good time, actually talking to her, actually asking her questions, actually seeing if you guys have things in common that are gonna make you guys last long term, you know? And so you being so much in your head about, about the kiss, you bypass all that stuff to where you are gonna be on this date not showing up in the best way possible. Because women can get a read for if you're on this date to just try to get her to hook up with you or to make out with her. Like they, can, they can feel that energy. I've been very good at going on dates and not giving the energy of, I'm here for a hookup or kiss. I, I, I was a virgin since I was 23. I've historically told all women, I can outweigh you. So for me, it's not about the hookup. Do I want to hook up? Yes. Do I want to kiss? Yes. But if I do not get those things on date one, am I going to be butt hurt? No, because more often than not, I'm not even thinking that a kiss or a hookup on the first date is possible. So because I have that thought process in mind, I go on dates thinking the only thing I wanna do is show this woman a really fun time. I wanna take it to a good dinner, to a good movie, to a good activity, and just show her the best time while at the same time really getting to know this person. This is my research project for the night, is to get to know her and show her a good time. And because I focus so much energy on that, I'm able to build up good vibes, I'm able to build up trust relatively quickly. And I find by the end of the night, there have been instances where, because I'm just focusing on having a good time, having a kiss or a hookup just happens to become part of the good time that now she wants to have because I was just concentrating on showing her the best time in whatever capacity that means. Now, with that said, because I'm not focusing on that on the, the first date being a kiss, I find I've had way more success being able to get a kiss with a woman on a second date. Because, because that first date, I wasn't trying to make anything physical happen. She was able to just kind of relax. She wasn't trying to block, you know, block me all night from like touches and kisses and things. And oh my God, what are you doing? You're trying to touch me every so she was able to just kind of bask in her feminine and really get to sit there and relax and build up good vibes with me. She was able to, you know, really see me and talk to me and get to know me. And then what happened? She went home and she got to sit there and think, man, I had a great time with Harry. You know what? 
I, that was one of the best dates I've had because all these other guys would have been trying to touch me and talk about sex and all this other stuff. And Harry just like showed me a good time and left. That was great. And then the second thought pops in, which is, wait a minute. But why didn't he try anything? Like, I've literally had women do like, hey, so like, why did you try to kiss me on the first date? Or, oh, I know she didn't try to do X, Y, and Z, whatever. Like, because they're thinking, they don't realize when you, when you allow, when you give a woman the space by not trying to do a physical action, like kiss her or make out with her, a whole different part of her brain opens up that she didn't know was there, which is, wait a minute, but I actually wanted that. Like, see, when she's on a date with a guy that's trying to touch her and kiss her nonstop, she's so focused on, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. That no part of her brain opens up and says, but I, I want to make that choice to do that. And so when you don't do stuff, she goes home and thinks, but did I want stuff to happen? Is he the guy that I'd want to kiss me? Is he the guy that I'd want to hook up with? You know what? I think if it came down to it, I'd like to make the choice to have that guy kiss me. Oh my God, it's amazing, right? So I said to say this, is that ultimately, it's not the worst thing in the world to go for a kiss on a first date. Like I said, I've, I've done it and I've had reactions ranging, ranging from the woman definitely kissed me back to the woman kissed me, but then later on said, you know what, I actually wasn't comfortable with that on that first date, can we like delay a little bit? At which point I was like, sure, no problem. I was indifferent, I was like, oh, she did, she, I went for the kiss a little too soon but she still said yes to another date. Okay, and then day three, she's, she's stopping the car on the side of the road to make out with me, right? So it's not that it's the worst thing in the world to go for the first kiss, on, uh, to go for a first kiss on that first date. But what I am stressing to you is that there are gonna be a lot of women that either aren't 100% ready for it, are only partially ready for it, or aren't ready for it at all. And so I found overall for women, you don't really lose too many points if you're not going for a first kiss on that first date. Some women might have been eager to do it and then you don't do it and they're just like, oh, okay, well, you know, most women understand that more often than not, a kiss is gonna happen on that second date. So they'll usually let that first date be a pass. Like, okay, I kinda wanted to kiss, but maybe he just wasn't feeling it or he didn't know the move to make. Okay, I'll give him another chance because I had a really good time. That's typically what's gonna happen if you don't make that kiss, right? But the second date, I found the second date, usually most women, this is the great thing. Most women at this point have been trained to ex expect that a kiss is gonna happen by date two, and therefore they're typically more open to it happening on date two because that's just what people do, and women, if nothing else, are gonna be following the letter to the law, you know? So then, what I found happened though is that if by the second date you're not making that first date kiss, that, that, that first kiss, that's when women will start to question things like, okay, like, is he secretly gay? Or is he really not feeling me? Is he dating other women? Am I disgusting? Like, what's going on, you know? So it behooves you, if you're gonna go for a first kiss, it's not that you can't do it on the first date, but I found I got better results and a higher success rate when I waited for date two to do that kiss. Whether it's in the middle of the date, whether it's at the end of the date, Ideally, you're being able to make that happen. Now, with that said, there are ways to set up the first date, the first kiss to make sure that it goes through in a way that's not awkward and they get you the results you want. I talk about that extensively, say it with me now, in my Introvert Dating Success Academy community, which you can join today for $47 a month. You get access to all of my videos, ranging from my online dating videos to how to approach women, how to talk to them, how to get their number, the kind of first dates and second dates to go on, how to do that first kiss in a way that doesn't get you rejected, how to deal with when uh, situations arise, like arguments and stuff, how to negotiate your way into a relationship. I got uh, audio programs on how to better communicate with women. I got interviews with experts like, it's so much stuff in that thing. It's like jam-packed with like hundreds of hours of stuff, as well as programs designed to specifically walk you through from point A to point B in specific situations. So you can get all that stuff at the website today, but definitely guys, get yourselves better informed on what to do when you're around women, so you will have better successes, especially when it comes to things like first kisses and first hookups. So hopefully guys, that helps you out. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high high value high class men you are high earning high value high class men you are high class men you are high class men you are high earning high value high class